Hi children. Today let us go into the topic about lines. As you know, where you can draw a line anywhere in a plane surface. In a plane surface, by joining dots, you can draw a straight line. You can have so many figures. A straight line may have so many parts. So many points, so many parts. If you have one side, if you see that is a ray. If you take the part of a line, that is a line segment. Okay. Line segment, if it is extended on both sides, that is a straight line. Okay. In a plane surface, a plane surface law, we can draw so many lines. We can get so many lines. Then so many lines are passing through or same same point also. Okay, okay point and any lines are not true. For example, two lines may intersect, may not intersect, or may coincide each other. Three cases will be there for any two lines. May intersect, may coincide, or they may parallel to each other without intersecting. Okay. If one line is intersecting other lines, so many other lines, then what the name should be given? Okay. And if, if a line intersects the other two or more lines, that line is called transversal of those lines. If a line, a line intersects two or more lines at different points, this line is called transversal of the other lines. Okay. Two or more lines it can intersect. Now we consider two lines. Here we consider two lines. A line intersects two lines at different points. It is now transversal of these two lines. Okay. It is transversal of these two lines. Okay. Now let us discuss about the transversal. What are the, its properties? We know that if two lines intersect each other in a plane surface, see like this, if two lines intersect each other, how many angles are going to form? See, one, two, three, four. Four angles will be formed. Okay, one line, if two lines intersect each other. Now if transversal is, now here transversal is intersecting two lines. Then how many angles we have? See, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Total how many angles we got? We got a eight angles. If a transversal intersects two lines, then how many angles are formed? Eight angles. Now let us consider one example here. Line L and M. Okay, are intersected by the line N. With a small letters we denote a straight lines. Line L and line M are intersected by the line L. Now see how which angle is formed. How many angles? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 angles formed. Now they will have different different names according to their position. Okay. So many names are given according to their position. Pairs are taken and given by their position. Names are given by their position. Different names. Their relations. Okay. Now let us go through each and every angle and their names. Now if you see these two lines and a transversal. We have these two outside and it is inside part. Isn't it? Inside part and outside part. Inside how many angles we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. Four angles. Interior. Those are called inside. Interior. Interior angles. One, two, three, four. Here what are the names here? Interior angles means inside. Three, four, five, six. Interior angles are three, four, five, six. Inside. Inside. Local right. Okay. Now outside means what is the name we use generally in mathematics? Exterior. Exterior. Then outside four angles are 
exterior angles. See, 1, 2, 7, 8. These are exterior angles. How many interior angles we have in transversal? When transversal intersects two lines, we have four interior angles and four exterior angles. Here, for this diagram, what are interior? 4, 3, 4, 5, 6. Exterior, 1, 2, 7, 8. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Like that we have given them. Okay. Now, if you see 1, 2, how they are related? Side by side. What is the name of side by side? Na angles are uh, sides. What we, what we give name? Adjacent. Adjacent angles. Means, pakka pakka ne one, two, adjacent side angles. Two, three, adjacent. Three, four, adjacent. Four, one, adjacent. Next step. Five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, five. Adjacent angles. Okay. Pairs of adjacent angles. Next is a vertically opposite. Vertically opposite means what? When two lines intersect each other, we got four angles. Opposite are two pairs. See here we have A, B, C, D. If we give name A, B, C, D. Vertically opposite to each other. What are they? A, C. One pair. B, D. Another pair. Okay. Then how many pairs of vertically opposite angles are there? Two pairs. Here, two lines are intersected by third line. No? How many pairs of vertically opposite we get? Four pairs. Let us see. What are they? One, vertically opposite to three. Two, vertically opposite to four. Next, five, vertically opposite to seven. Six, vertically opposite to eight. Then what are pairs of vertically opposite angles when transversal is drawn to two, two lines? 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, 7 and 6, 8 are vertically opposite angles. And then we said interior angles and exterior angles. Now one exterior and one interior on the same side of the transversal. One exterior, one interior. Okay. One exterior angle, one interior angle on the same side of the transversal. If this is transversal, this is transversal. Same side means this side. One side we have two, three, six, seven. One exterior, an interior on the same side of the transversal are called corresponding angles. What we say? Corresponding angles. One exterior, one interior. On the same side of the transversal. Well, this is one exterior, one interior. Why can't we take these two? Because these two are adjacent angles. They have separate length. We should not take those two. Okay? One exterior, one interior. Which are not adjacent. Okay? Then two, six. Corresponding angles. For one which is corresponding? Five. Okay? 1, 5 corresponding angles, 4, 8 corresponding angles, 3, 7 corresponding angles. Okay. How many pairs of corresponding angles we have? See, corresponding angles, 1, 5, 2, 6, 3, 7, 4, 8. 4 pairs of corresponding angles we have. Okay. Next type is interior alternate. Alternate means on either side of transversal. Interior and on either side of transversal. On either side. Atokoti, itokoti. Means 4 and 6. Why not 4, 3? Because they are adjacent. We should not come take those two. 4 and 6. Interior alternate. 3 and 5. Interior alternate. 1 and 7. What are those angles? 1 and 7. Interior or exterior? Exterior. Therefore, these two exterior alternate. These two exterior alternate. Understood? Interior inside and alternate means on either side of transversal. 4, 6, 3, 5. Interior alternate angles 2 pairs and exterior alternate angles 2 pairs. Now this is about a transversal for any two lines in a plane surface.
what is transverse cell if a line intersect two or more lines at different points that is a transverse cell and we have eight angles four interior angles four exterior angles and four pairs of corresponding angles we have interior alternate angles interior exterior interior alternate angles exterior alternate angles and we discussed all these in this class i hope you understood and based on this you have to prepare notes and write down all the points thank you